All right, a pencil, a cutter, a ruler. Hello, guys. Today we're going to make a new house for our hamster, Ginger. I'm just waiting for Sam with the cardboard. Sammy! Uh, Susie, I have some bad news. We've run out of cardboard. Oh, well then. All is lost. Ginger won't get a new house. He'll be so, so sad. No worries, Sammy. We'll draw a house with a pen. <laughs> I've done hamster houses a hundred times, but hamsters can't live in them. <laughs> in our house, Ginger will even be able to spend time in the nature. If you really can draw such a house, I'll clean up for a whole week. Deal. Woo! Huh, why does Susie need a ball? She was just going to draw. Seems suspicious. Oh, thank you, Sammy. Here's the pen I'm going to use to draw the house. Do you recognize it? Uh... Why should I? <laughs> Sammy, and you call yourself a modern slime? This is a 3D pen. You can use it to draw with plastic. Future technologies at home. Oh, a 3D pen? Why didn't you tell me we've got one? You never asked. You have to show me such things even if I don't ask. <laughs> but then the surprise will be ruined. Uh, you're right. Oh, wait, wait, wait! What's up? It's a hamster house! Yeah? Made of plastic? Oh, I get what you mean. <laughs> Don't worry, Sammy. This plastic is absolutely safe for Ginger, even if he tries to taste it. Really? Yes, this is PLA plastic. It's made of mace or sugarcane, and it's completely biodegradable. Oh, then I won't worry. Neither for Ginger nor for the environment. Go on! Uh, I guess I shouldn't have promised to clean up for a whole week. Oopsie! Sammy, aren't you going to sabotage the craft to win? No! <laughs> I want Ginger to have a house. Good. I'm glad you take care of him. Why did you cut it? Well, I needed to take the future house off the ball. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll fix it quickly. This way. Technology. <laughs> no glue needed. Just remember to be careful. The plastic inside the pen is very hot. The base is ready. Susie, I've drawn houses many times, and I know that there should be windows and doors. Even if the house is made of plastic? Especially if it's made from plastic. <laughs> all right, all right. We'll make a door and a window. We only need to mark the borders. This will be the entrance. And here's the window. Carefully. There. Small and nice. Huh? Are you happy now? Yes! Uh, no! Why is the house so holy? Uh, because it's the base! Ugh. Am I too hasty again? Yes, Sammy. You're too hasty again. You need patience to draw a house like this. Guys, actually, our Sammy can be patient, but mostly he likes to do things quickly. What about you? Uh-oh, guys. I guess I'm gonna lose this bet. Give a thumbs up to support my morale, please. There, no more extra holes. It reminds me of something. Really? I wonder what? Well, this house is round. Yeah. And green. Yes, it is. And with stripes. And with stripes. I guess there's one similar thing I love very much. Oh, really? You're making a watermelon-shaped house. <laughs> You're right, Sammy. Guys, do you like watermelon the way I do? Check out our videos about them. All the links are in the description. Even though this house is plastic, it seems I can smell the watermelon. <laughs> Let's make it even more similar to a real one. Sammy, could you bring me a pencil and a piece of paper? Ah, you'll draw the regular way after all. Well, kinda. Then I haven't lost yet. <laughs> we need to understand the dimensions of our house's floor. It's very important not to make a mistake. Aha! I'll use this as a template and draw an outline with the plastic pen. Oopsie, since it was early to celebrate, 3D drawing continues! Now we need to attach our floor to the base. Secure it well. So 
so the floor doesn't fall off. Done! Shoo! You didn't forget that watermelons are red inside! Oh, great idea, Sammy. It's just what I need. Ah, you ruined my drawing! It took me five whole minutes to make it! Five minutes? Well, I wouldn't have guessed. Guys, what can you draw in five minutes? Write in the comments! You need a red pen refill. Yes, Sammy, thank you so much. I just need a little more time. And a wonderful watermelon slice will be ready. I guess you're gonna win our bet. I'm off to find a scoop in a mop. Sammy, Sammy, I'm ready to yield. Really? Yes. If Ginger likes the house, you can do the cleaning for only three days instead of a whole week. All right! I'm gonna go have a word with Ginger. Sammy, don't you even want to see me making the finishing touches in the house decor? Uh, no, I'll see him later. As you say. We need to attach our watermelon slice in front really well, using the same plastic. Susie! Ginger says he likes soft floors, so I made this. Whoa, thanks, Sammy! Let's put this soft watermelon carpet here. Hmm, the window's missing something. Hop! That's better. What do you say? Holy cannoli! Susan, I officially declare you the winner. You really managed to draw a hamster house in which it's possible to live. Let's ask Ginger's opinion. Oh, I think he likes it. I'm so happy. Aha! He already brought yummies. Make yourself comfortable. I myself would like to live in such a house. <laughs> you can visit Ginger if you want. Guys, give a thumbs up if you like this house. And subscribe to our channel not to miss our new bets, which I'll surely win. Oh, uh, what? Oops, I mean, hit the bell not to miss new videos. Bye bye. -bye. bye. Other one? Shoo, how can you be so absent-minded? You're gonna miss the carriage! It'll turn into a pumpkin! Sammy, just help me find the second shoe! I can't promise you a carriage, but we can make the second shoe for you! You're my fairy godfather, Sammy. We'll make it with the help of 3D technologies! And my ordinary shoe. It will be the base of our masterpiece. This way, we won't mess up with the size. Cinderella's shoe is a bit too large, remember? That's why she lost it. Tink time, your fairy godfather. Today, let me offer you some magic. Already? Yep, why wait? Ooh, I can see you're serious about that. Go on. Uh, I need to recharge the magic wand. I wasn't ready for doing magic. All right, I'm going to cover the shoe with sticky tape. We'll need your magic later today. Guys, give a thumbs up. This will definitely recharge Sam's wand with craft magic. Did you know that different nations have their own fairy tales about Cinderella? All in all, there are about 1,000 variations of the story! It's incredible! Fun fact, the first story about Cinderella was found in ancient Egypt. There was a pharaoh instead of a prince, a slave girl instead of a stepdaughter, and gilded sandals instead of glass slippers. Still, we'll follow the classic story. We'll try to imitate glass. Take a transparent rod. It will form the base. Later, we'll color it. 
Let's make the frame first. Two! There will be no more magic. I think the wand broke. What do you mean? I wanted to surprise you and turn a pumpkin into a carriage, but oh. I failed. I didn't dare try it with Ginger. Sammy, Ginger will run away from us one day. Oh, are you upset? Nope, I thought that we'd be better to make a pumpkin pie. Oh, that's a good idea. Cooking is also about magic, you know? I agree, but uh, you need to be more skilled for making a pie. I can bake a pumpkin pie. We'll make it after the craft. Guys, be very careful when working with a 3D pen. Its tip is very hot. And more thumbs up. Otherwise, no magic. <sighs> Sammy, there will be magic anyway. Magic is not in the wand. What do you mean, not in the wand? Why do I take it every time? <laughs> I don't know, Sammy. Magic is inside of you. Remember? Yeah. Yeah, so maybe it's you who needs a recharge to do magic? You're right. I need some sweets. Nutella. Or a couple of Snickers bars. There's some in the kitchen. In the meantime, I'll finish the frame of the shoe and join you for a sweet recharge. Ooh. It's coming out very unusual. It looks like a crystal web. I want to show you the strongest spell. This magic can affect the viewers. Ready, steady. Bimity, bimity, subscribe me! Freedom of creation. Coming! Snipper shredders, there's something on my way again. Oh! I'm all in very dust. <laughs> I'm fine. Oh, it's an ugly. Something soft and airy. Sammy, what an incredible fairy costume you've got. So shiny. Do you like it? I conjured it up myself because I'm a true fairy. It appeared on me by magic. I didn't even get how. <laughs> I think that sweet recharge was a success. Time to continue working. You've been a long time in the kitchen. I'm afraid Nutella suffered from your spoon a lot. <sighs> Don't worry, you can summon more sweets. You know how to do magic. Yes, and now we'll see if the subscribe spell works. Guys, don't fail us. Subscribe and hit the bell button. There's magic inside you, too. In your fingers, mostly. <laughs> They are really good at pressing buttons on a touch screen. So, I still don't understand how Cinderella could walk in glass shoes. Mm, what can't you understand, Sammy? Well, glass is fragile and cold. Maybe that's why she lost the shoe. Actually, there's a theory that the fairy tale was translated wrong. And originally, Cinderella had fur shoes. Whoa, that's what I call a shoe. Comfy and warm. In the tales of different nations, Cinderella had shoes of silk, gold, silver, also diamonds and red velvet with pearls. The next pair we make will be silk and we'll add lace. Okay, Sammy. Then learn how to sew. What makes you think I can't? Fine, what have you sewn? Have you seen my awesome costumes? I make them myself. Can you make one more thing? Do some craft magic for this shoe. Easy peasy. Abracadabra done! Da -da -da. Da -da -da. Sammy, uh -oh. what are you doing? Wait, you one moment, just a second, please. <sighs> Sam, it's da -da -da. time to continue. Da -da -da. I want to finish this craft quicker. Uh, done. I've got a surprise for you being your fairy stepfather and a decorator master. Here's an accessory for your outfit. <laughs> what do you say? <gasps> Whoa, so beautiful, Sammy. How did you know my ring size? Well, I searched through your accessories, measured, and designed this. Oh, I love it. I think it's going to be the best ball of my life. All thanks to you, my dear slime. <laughs> I did my best. Now let's cut the shoe. Shoe, I worked so hard you'll ruin it. The magic will be gone. It's necessary. Otherwise, I won't be able to get my shoe out. Fine, but be very careful. I'm worried. 
guys, Sam's right. Be very careful making this craft at home. Not only with the shoe, but also with pliers. You'd better ask an adult to help you. Sue, so, you're gonna glue it back together, right? Of course! Check it out! It's better without a shoe inside. It looks so fragile and fabulous. That's what I'm saying! Connect the parts! Why are you so worried? Because it's your ball soon and the shoe is not yet ready! I am a fairy, okay, but I can't stop the time. <laughs> yes, we don't have much time, but we can do it, Sammy. Don't worry. It's because of this attitude that the carriages turn into pump gangs and the coachmen turn into rats and lizards! Or even hamsters! Sam's so concerned that I'll be late for the ball. Like a real fairy godfather. <laughs> In the meantime, I'm making the shoe sturdier. I'm planning to dance all night. We need to make it two-layered. Apply the stripes along and across. Shoe! Don't forget the heel! Sure, Sammy. The main job's done. Now we need to decorate the shoe. First of all, let's color our shoe. And then we can add decor. Right you are, Sammy. Look, I took this magic blue pearly color. Beautiful. You bet. I chose it. The best decorator in the world. I know, Sammy. <laughs> you have a weakness for glitter. <laughs> we can cover the whole shoe with this polish. Check out the end result! Very elegant and beautiful! Wait! Shoo! Wait! Shoo! You forgot the fairy dust! Alright, Sammy! Let's add some magic! Shoo, I sketched some ideas! Oh! Holy macaroons, how beautiful! They're all good! Do I have to choose? Oh, it's hard! I recommend this one, just like in the movie. Huh. You're right. I love that movie. I should rewatch it. And I don't want to argue with the great decorator. I'll make it using this template not to make a mess. First, we'll draw the outline. And then fill it in. It's very delicate work. So you should make the butterfly 3D, as if it's about to fly away. First of all, I'll fill the wings with hot plastic. And then bend one pair of wings a little bit. There. Guys, be careful. Don't burn yourself with a 3D pang. Shoo! It's time to do magic again! I agree, Sammy. Whoosh! It came out wonderful! I'm gonna fetch the glue gun. Wow, Sammy! How did you do that? I don't know what you're talking about. Well, Sue, are you ready? <laughs> yes! I'm so excited! Let's head to the mirror! Huh. Listen, I think it's all right this way. Uh, Sammy! All right, all right. I'm just kidding. Uh, Sue, pretend that you're already wearing a dress. Turn round and around. Okay. <gasps> wow, Sammy. How did you do that? It's so beautiful. Of course. I'm a very godfather. Let's continue. Magic of the beauty, I summon you. Clap your hands! Oh, awesome! I feel like a princess! What's next? <laughs> I've got it all figured out. Here comes the main part! <gasps> Hooray! It fits perfectly! So beautiful! I'll try not to lose it. Sorry, Shuba, I can't turn this pumpkin into a carriage. And, uh, Ginger's gonna remain a hamster. No horses. Sammy, it doesn't matter. I have a perfect look. 
My dress is gonna be the best outfit at the ball! Thank you so much! Guys, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button! Bye bye Remember to have courage and be kind! <laughs> Hi guys, it's me again, a real YouTube star, a real heartbreaker, and just an awesome slime. Today we're gonna craft something pop-tastic. Well, <laughs> you know what I mean. Sue will do everything and I'll just hang around. And in the end, I'll take credit for the craft. <laughs> Are you mental? <gasps> Who's that? Me? Sammy, sorry, it's not what you think. Yeah, sure. We're gonna have a serious talk after the shooting. Yeah, I get that. Uh, hi guys! Today Sam and I were supposed to make a T-Rex skeleton with a 3D pen, but there was a misunderstanding. So I'm just gonna start without Sam. <laughs> Let's begin with the pelvis. Don't get me wrong, but I'm doing well without Sammy so far. Though it's not as fun. Hmm. I wonder what he's doing. I guess he's sitting in some corner sulking. I will never help her with crafts again! She can make them herself. Oh no! I have to help her! She probably messed it up and now she's crying alone. I made the second part of the pelvis. Check it out. Awesome! Hmm. It's kind of boring without Sam. Don't you think? I mean, <laughs> really. Why doesn't he want to make peace? I've already pleaded guilty. Aha! Oh, you're back! We're having fun here with the viewers. Yeah, I thought you were going to call for my help. Nope. Actually, I decided to finish everything by myself. Besides, check this out. Done! Now we just need to connect them. Fine. Call me if you need anything. I'll help you anyway. Phew. That means he's not too upset. Oh. I wanted to apologize and send him away. No, oh, no, no. I'll have to fix things somehow. It's okay. I'll figure something out. In the meantime, let's continue and get this part of the skeleton done. All right. Now, we need to make a special place for the thigh bone here. It should match the size of the bones you've already made. Guys, be careful with the soldering iron. It's very easy to burn your fingers. You'd better ask an adult to help you if that's possible. There we go! Let's finish this part of the leg. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know how to make peace with Sam. You know, they say that working together makes friendship stronger. Hmm. Let's get to the vertebrae of our T-Rex. We need patience here. Ugh, so many tiny details. May I use some magic? That's better. Now I can proceed with my plan. <clears throat> Sam! Sammy! Why? Sam, come here! What you need? You said you were doing great without me. Sam, it seems I can't do it by myself. Could you help me? Only if you ask nicely. Aha! Uh -huh. You miss making crafts after all. A little. Plus, you'll be lost without me. What do you need? <laughs> we need to make the vertebrae like this. It's gonna get hot. Master Sam is on it. It's a start, I suppose. Sam began working. A little more, and he'll calm down. Hmm, I wonder if I went too far provoking Sam. <sighs> I could have offended him, you know? No nonsense. It's gonna be okay. Right? Anyway, I think it's time to see how he's doing there. Sam! How's work on the spine going? Done! I even put them on a stem. Wow! 
Great job, Sammy! You bet! You even made places for the thigh bones! Ugh, you're the best! Yeah, I am! <laughs> In the meantime, I made these vertebrae! Are you gonna put them on now? Yep! Ugh, it'll take you three days! Place them here and watch closely! Okay! Up! Done! Oh, so cool, Sammy! Yep, what would you do without me? Anyway, do you need more help? Sure. Let me attach this part here, and I'll show you what to do. All right, call me when you need me. Yay! Looks like he started to mellow out. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, I never know what to do when I offend somebody. I want to make peace, but sometimes I don't know where to start. I decided to give Sam some more work. I think I can finish with legs while he'll be busy making ribs. Sammy, come here! Yes, what can I do? Sammy, we need to make different sized ribs like this. Can you do it? Peace up, cake. Perfect. Now everyone's got a job to do. By the way, did you watch our video about archaeology? If not, please do it as soon as possible. Sam and I took a cool dinosaur skeleton out of stone, and then we assembled it. It was so interesting. Huh, Sam's a little quiet. Hmm, I hope he's doing well there. Anyway, why did he even get mad? It was a harmless joke. I'm the best slime and I won't tolerate any jokes on me. So I haven't forgiven you yet, and there you go again. Oh, you frightened me, and I, I was talking about myself. You were? Mm-hmm, sure, yeah. I'm Sue and I always do things wrong. Also, I can't do without Sam. All right. Phew, that was close. Okay, let's make the fingers of our dinosaur. Let's put them in place. Check it out, Sammy. Isn't it cool? Oh, yeah. I can feel the touch of a master. <laughs> the touch of a master, you say? Hmm. Do you mean your touch or mine? Uh, I guess both. <laughs> Finally, the master appreciated my work. Well, I didn't mean that. I meant that two ordinary hands and a master like me can do quite a good job together. Oh, now I might get offended, Sammy. But then you'll know how I felt. I get it. Actually, I already apologized. Well, I think you're kind of insincere. <gasps> really? How was I supposed to apologize then? Huh, by offering me a Nutella jar, for example. Oh, or my favorite Oreo cake. Oh, I know, I know! Ice cream! <laughs> Aren't you asking too much, Sam? Well, you know I like sweets, don't ya? Yeah? Fine, you can just do my chores for a week. <laughs> <gasps> no way! There's a Nutella jar in the fridge. It's all yours. But it's almost empty! You ate it all and didn't even share. That's because I had an urgent need for sweets. I'm always stressed out because of you. Living with you is no picnic either, you know. <sighs> Would you look at him? He is always stressed out. <sighs> Ugh. Uh, I just meant that we fight sometimes. Yeah, well, I can't argue with that. Oh, Sammy, worrying must be hard for you. No, I just meant that sometimes we fight because you can't control yourself. All I can do is eat all the sweets so you don't get any. Oh, you naughty slime! Turned everything in his advantage and escaped. What could I do? I love sweets and I got a chance to annoy you. Annoying me? 
Oh, Sammy. I'm glad he doesn't like fruit as much as sweets. Now that would have really annoyed me. Sweets? Nah, I can live without them. Sam, enough hiding. Come back. I won't hurt you. Aren't you mad at me? Not at all. Are you sure? Sure, Sammy. Have I ever lied to you? Huh. Let me think. Sammy! All right, all right, you don't lie. That's right. Guys, you all heard that Sue's not mad at me. I'm not. But our T-Rex huh? is very... <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, he's gone. Oh, I probably offended him again. Oh, for crying out loud. Today is definitely not my day. At least the craft is coming out great, right? Hey, Sam, come back! Huh? Why are you shouting? I'm so sorry. I won't do it again. Hey, what's on your face? Nutella remains. You said it's all mine, so I decided to finish that jar before you change your mind. <laughs> Sammy, silly little slime. Why is that? Oh, Sam, don't ever change. <laughs> That's it. Our T-Rex is done. Hooray! Wake me up after millions of years! It was me, Samuel Slime, a fearless adventurer! Ha! I'll turn you into a million little slimes! Ha! <laughs> you need to catch me first! <laughs> oh, Sam, we forgot to say bye to our viewers! <laughs> bye, guys! If you like this video, give a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel! Also, don't forget to hit the bell button not to miss our new videos! See you soon!